At this stage, uh, we have a 29-year-old uh, female who's a missing person. Uh, at some time last night, about seven o'clock, uh, this female's left her house. Uh, she was clothed in a white jumper and black pants. Uh, and since then, we haven't had any sighting of her since. Uh, we're obviously very concerned for her welfare and safety, um, and that's what we're conducting inquiries now to try and locate her, her whereabouts. Does she have any mental health issues or anything like that that you're concerned about? Uh, at this stage, she does. Uh, she does have some mental health issues, and obviously that uh, heightens our concern for her well-being and her safety. Uh, so we're conducting all the inquiries we can into background uh, checks for her, uh, doctors, etc., friends, and trying to get as much information as we can at the moment to try and find her. I believe you found some clothes. Can you tell me about that? Yes, we did. Uh, sometime earlier this morning, uh, a white jumper and a black pair of pants were located in the street nearby, some uh, within a kilometre of her, her home address, um, and uh, we've taken possession of those clothing. Any idea what she's wearing now? Um, we're not sure at this stage. It's possible that she may have taken other clothes from her house or it's possible also that she's taken clothes from clotheslines etc or fan clothes around the, other, around the streets etc. Uh, but we're not sure. Um, is there anything to su suggest it's sus? No, there's nothing to suggest that it's suspicious at the moment. We're obviously very concerned for her safety so we've uh, detailed as many police and other resources including the SES uh, that we can to ensure that we cover as much ground as we can, as quickly as we can, to try and locate her. Has she done this before? Sorry? Did yeah. anyone see her leave the house? Uh, yes, her father was at the house at the time with her, um, so he did see her leave the address and that's how we've got the confirmation of the clothing she had at the time. Was there some sort of altercation before? Uh, there's no indication of that at this stage. Um, obviously this person has um, some mental health issues, um, so obviously it's very difficult at times to deal with people like that um, and that's again why we're so concerned about her because she has taken off from her house and away from her father. Has she yeah. done this before? Uh, not that we're aware of at this time um, and again that's why we're so concerned for her safety and whereabouts. Can you, um, sorry, just tell us uh, numbers wise, how many police officers and SES are out here at the moment? Uh, at this stage we have about 12 SES uh, pe personnel we also have around 25 police officers searching. Uh, we have a number of police officers on trail bikes. We have the mounted police unit being um, allocated uh, search areas within uh, behind me here. And we also have um, the helicopter, uh, rescue helicopter at this stage coming to do some searching for us. Okay, so that home, who does she live in that home with? She lives at home with her son um, and he's being taken care of at the, as we speak. Her son's six years old. Was he at home when she left? Uh, I couldn't confirm that to tell you the truth. Uh, I don't know. And what's your message to, to the community? Uh, we have uh, done a number of broadcasts um, uh, throughout the day and our, our, I guess our message to police, people out there is to please keep an eye out for her. Um, she could very well be in a uh, state of uh, up, being, being very upset uh, we are very concerned for her safety and her whereabouts uh, and if anyone has any information on her whereabouts we encourage them to contact police or crime stoppers.